Before you can understand any topic well, you need to understand that topic's specific terminology, and part of this chapter is about learning that terminology. The term tax base is used frequently even in the popular press, like the Wall Street Journal or Newsweek. So what is a tax base? Well, typically individuals, for example, have gross income, and then there are allowable deductions and adjustments. Taking gross income minus those deductions gives you taxable income, which is your tax base. It's basically the amount of money that the federal government has a right to tax. For personal income tax, the taxable income is equal to the tax base. This is important because if we can make the tax base bigger, then we can reduce the tax rate. If you've ever heard someone say that we need to close tax loopholes, what they're really saying is that we need to expand the tax base. So let's go through this example. This taxpayer has a gross income of $100,000 and congressionally allowed deductions and adjustments of $20,000, giving them a taxable income or a tax base of $80,000. With an average tax rate of 20%, the tax would be $16,000. Now, what would happen if we can increase the tax base? Congress can do this, for example, by lowering the allowable deductions. Let's suppose that this taxpayer had $20,000 worth of allowable deductions, but half of that is a home mortgage interest deduction, and Congress decided to eliminate the home mortgage interest deduction. Then, this taxpayer would still have $100,000 of gross income, but would only be able to deduct $10,000, coming up with a taxable income or a tax base of $90,000. Okay, so far so good. We've increased the tax base from $80,000 to $90,000. To get the same tax of $16,000, so we had a tax up here of $16,000, we want to get the same tax of $16,000. What rate do we need? We divide by $90,000 and we get a rate of 17.78%. So in this example, we increased the tax base from $80,000 to $90,000 and lowered the tax rate from 20% to 17.78%. This would be considered a revenue neutral tax law change. Congress finds it very important that if they're going to in reduce tax rates, for example, that they need to make law changes that will keep the taxes revenue neutral. And so, for example, if they wanted to reduce the rate from 20% to 17.78%, then somebody could say, hey, we can do this by eliminating the home mortgage interest deduction. As you're reading through this section of the book, be careful about the definition of income. It sounds like a common word, something we use in everyday English, but the definition of income takes a lot of pages in the tax code. There are also some items of cash inflows that aren't taxable. For various reasons, Congress has decided that these are not going to be taxed. For example, gifts below a certain level from one person to the next. Have you ever had to pay income taxes on a Christmas gift you received from your parents? Or paid income taxes or gift taxes on a gift that you gave? Probably not. But if the value of those gifts are high enough, then there is a tax liability on them. Deductions are items that reduce gross income to arrive at taxable income, like we showed up here. Deductions are always items that Congress has specifically allowed. Thanks for watching.